Manchester United have fresh solution at left back with Sophie and Amrabat. Manchester United have a fresh solution for their left back crisis following an excellent performance from Sophie and Amrabat against Crystal Palace in the Corabao Cup third round. On Tuesday, the 27 year old made his full debut from the same position. Regailan, who was ill and possibly injured against Burnley, was not available in the match day squad. The summer signing delivered five long balls and won five out of his six duels contested. The Moroccan also registered two successful tackles and won three fouls from Palace. Amrabat was substituted at the hour mark, having just returned from injury. His early substitution also suggests that he could start at left back in the Premier League on Saturday. Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia are long-term absentees at the moment while Lisandro Martinez is also unavailable after sustaining an injury in the lead-up to the Burnley game. Eric Ten Hag said that Regailan was only ill last weekend, but the Spaniard was seen clutching on his hamstring on a couple of occasions. He may have picked up an injury too. In our view, United could persist with Amrabat in the left-back role in the near future. They have certainly found a fresh solution for the position amid the untimely injury blows. The Red Devils are set to host Palace again in the Premier League this weekend. There should be multiple changes for both teams. United will be eyeing a third straight victory. Amrabat, who was described as a world-class player by Morocco head coach Walid Regragui at the World Cup, looks set to make his home Premier League debut for United. Eric Ten Hag asks Manchester United for Inter Milan superstar. Eric Ten Hag will try to bring Lautaro Martinez to Manchester United to aid the team's attack. According to Spanish publication Fishages, Manchester United are thinking of signing the prolific striker Lautaro Martinez in the upcoming transfer window. Eric Ten Hag has asked the team to sign the 26-year-old World Cup winner as he looks to the future. Since the summer of 2021, Lautaro Martinez, the captain and an outstanding striker for Inter Milan, has managed to stave off intense interest. Clubs were interested in the 26-year-old World Cup winner even before that, but a contract extension agreed upon that year ensured that he would have a term until 2026 at Inter. Martinez's future is still up in the air despite the fact that his contract has three more years to run, particularly in light of the excellent start he has had to the domestic season. The 26-year-old World Cup winner added a crucial equaliser in Inter Milan's opening Champions League match, solidifying his position as the team's star player. Martinez's future at Inter Milan is also apparently far from certain beyond this summer as the Italian team needs to sell some of its best players once more to balance its books. United would look to increase their squad depth if all the Argentine agreed to join. Last season he had 57 appearances for Inter having scored 28 goals and 11 assists. He also helped them reach the Champions League final where they eventually lost against Manchester City. Ten Hag appears to be eager to sign the striker and fully utilize him at Old Trafford. Rasmus Hodgland and Martinez can aid the team by enhancing the attack and adding goals, something the group still lacks. Ten Hag passes the buck to first-team star as Manchester United standoff continues. According to The Independent, Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has refused to be drawn into discussions regarding the future of Jadon Sancho at Old Trafford. This comes after the winger clashed with Ten Hag following the loss to Arsenal, more or less making him an outcast at Carrington. The Red Devils manager has not backed down and has stopped the player from using first-team facilities after he failed to tender an apology. Little has changed and United continue to move ahead without Sancho in their immediate plans. Given his lack of options, it is good to see that Ten Hag is ready to stand up to his ideals. 
it was inevitable that Ten Hag would be quizzed about Sancho. The Dutchman refused to give much away but also added a caveat that the player has nobody but himself to blame for the situation. If anything, it would appear that Ten Hag has no interest in giving more airtime to a player who is clearly disgruntled. With the manager unlikely to blink first, all eyes will now be on how Sancho responds. At 23, Sancho has the best years of his career ahead of him. Time will tell whether he has already played his last game for the Red Devils. Ten Hag praises United man who had fantastic impact v Palace. Andre Onana managed to get his third clean sheet of the season against Palace, now Eric Ten Hag has praised him. Palace weren't anywhere near Manchester United on a cold night September night at Old Trafford. The game saw United play the best football they have all season, and also remain so strong defensively, limiting Palace to a handful of half chances. However despite the limited chances they had, Andre Onana was still called into action to make a couple of massive saves. Because of this, he earned his third clean sheet of the season, which has warranted praise from Eric Ten Hag. Manchester United could reignite interest in 28-year-old Siri A midfield star. Manchester United might once again try to sign Juventus ace Adrian Rabiot. According to Calcio Mercato, Juventus star Adrian Rabiot is once again expected to be on the Manchester United transfer wishlist for the 2024 summer transfer window. The Red Devils have, however, been in a similar situation before, only for the France midfielder to opt for Juventus while old Gunnar Solskjaer was in charge. Rabiot is a tad inconsistent but has shown the ability to be a star man at Juventus. The French midfielder has been linked with the Red Devils since his days at Paris Saint-Germain. Rabiot recently signed a one-year deal despite rumors of a potential exit from Turin earlier this summer. With the window now shut, all parties will need to wait until next year to rekindle the transfer. His contract expires in 2024, though, and a move next summer is very plausible. Ten Hag is a fan of Rabiot, who last season reinvented himself in a rather underwhelming Juventus side. Rabiot made a name for himself at PSG after graduating from their academy and claimed five League One championships in seven years. In 227 games for the French behemoths, the midfielder scored 24 goals and 14 assists across all competitions. The 28-year-old is in the prime of his career and could do with a fresh challenge. Manchester United, for their part, need difference makers in the middle of the park. Rabiot is worth the risk if Ten Hag is sold on his abilities. As time goes on, we will be able to predict how well he will fit into the team and contribute once he joins our club. That is assuming, he finally arrived at Old Trafford after years of being linked and scouted.